Okay, so we're on to question number two now. It says here that fish that live in fresh water absorb substances through the epithelial cells in their gills. It was really important that you read that sentence because it gave some clues to the rest of the question that a lot of you missed. The first part says it shows the concentration of two substances inside and outside a gill epithelial cell. So those substances are oxygen and sodium ions. You needed to draw just one line from each substance to the process used to move it to the gill. Here you've got oxygen that's in a high concentration outside the gill and a low concentration inside. Oxygen molecules can just diffuse across this gradient. Here you can see you have a low concentration of sodium here and a high concentration here. So to get into the cell you're going against the concentration gradient. It's also an iron, which means it is a charged particle, so it needs to move by active transport. On this question here, an animal called an axolotl lives in fresh water when it's young, and this is a young axolotl here, and structure X is labelled. If you had already read the detail of this question, you will already be beginning to think that this might be a gill, which a lot of you missed. It helps the exchange of substances between the axolotl and the water. So how does structure X help young axolotls to survive? A mark point was available for describing structure X as a gill made from filaments. A lot of you described feather-like structures, threads and hairs. Okay, a description of this structure was allowed for one mark. For the second mark point, you needed to describe that that would therefore increase surface area. Some of you might have described them as being thin, so it has a short diffusion pathway. This was also available for a mark. This would allow the movement of substances such as oxygen and nutrients that are needed for the axolotl to grow. Many of you lost a lot of marks here because you hadn't made the connection that the question was talking about gills. So you were unable to identify these structures as gills and then explain the link between surface area, a short diffusion pathway and oxygen and nutrients moving more efficiently into the axolotl.